Athletic Club hosted Sevilla in week eight of La Liga EA Sports. It was a thoroughly absorbing game of football, which eventually finished one all. There was so much drama and tension along the way. The two managers, Valverde and Garcia Pimienta, know each other well from their time together at Football Club Barcelona. Before kickoff, there were festivities. There were five athletic women's players and three of the men's team who were celebrating silverware won this summer either at the European Championships in Germany or the under 19 women's Euros in Lithuania or at the Paris Olympics and then an honorary kickoff by athletic club legend Danny Ruiz Bassan as this match took place 50 years to the day after his debut with the club well, once the game got underway, there were two early chances for Sevilla's Peque. He couldn't take either. But he is settling in well at his new club. He had forced the opening goal in Sevilla's victory against Valladolid midweek. He sent one effort wide and was denied on the other occasion by... Aguirre Zabala, and then on 20 minutes, Iñaki Williams was teed up by his brother Nico. A very direct move from the hosts, Iñaki couldn't quite stretch to apply the finish. Chedira Ejuke played this pass for Valentin Barco. And it looked as if Iñacho was offside for Sevilla. And in any case, couldn't adjust his feet to finish so a pretty solid start from Sevilla however the hosts struck the opening goal and a very special moment it was for Mikel Jarregisa 35 minutes on the clock when the 20 year old scored his first goal for the club his first goal in La Liga a strike that took a small deflection on its way through. Touching midfielder Lucien Agumé and travelling beyond Nieland to make it 1-0. 1-0 very nearly became two just minutes later. It was Iñaki Williams with a really good chance that he should probably have taken an error in the distribution from Oyan Nieland, the Norway international, that he then recovered to make a save and keep the score at 1-0. At half-time, Sevilla made a change. Juan Lu came on for Barco, and they did improve in the second half, no question about it, and their main threat throughout the game was this man. 26-year-old Nigerian winger Chedira Ejuke who was a real menace with his trickery and direct running this was a strike that forced a save from Aguirre Zabala Luki Bakio then drove one into the traffic and from range it was Carmona over the top but no question the away team was showing signs of second half improvement. Luki Bacchio with this run and his cut back for Juan Lu. And eventually, Ejuke's cross was turned away by Unai Nunez. Eventually, Agome lifted his cross onto the roof of the net. Sevilla were looking to build on the victories over Getafe and Valladolid, both of which came at home.
And it was very important they didn't concede again. Athletic Club never managed to find a second goal. And consequently, the final minutes of this match were absolutely enthralling with some real drama. Garcia Pimienta's side were asking questions and they so nearly equalised on 54 minutes when Dodi Lukibakio struck the post with a special solo effort drifting in field and curling this effort against the woodwork. Valverde made a double change. Vesga and Unai Gomez came off, replaced just before the hour mark by Ruiz de Galarreta and Gruseta. At the same time, Sousa replaced Ian Acho, which meant that Peque moved slightly further forward for Sevilla, a Sevilla team that had two days extra to prepare for this game, having played on the Tuesday night, whereas Athletic had been busy in Rome on Thursday, earning one point in their European clash. Suso dragged an effort wide. And then Alex Berenguer had a fine chance to make it 2 0. This was his final act before being replaced with 20 minutes to play. It was a move that stemmed from the goalkeeper, Berenguer, influential, carrying the ball across the halfway line, giving it wide to Nico, and then receiving it from him. But the number seven couldn't hit the target. And the final 20 minutes were compelling. Further changes were made. Di Marcos made way with Yuri coming on. And with Berenguer withdrawn, there was a debut for 19-year-old Canales. Canales did well. This was Guru Seta on the spin, forcing a save. Niland made the block and his defence then threw themselves at the rebound effort. And whilst it remained 1-0, Sevilla had hope. Luque Bacchio got himself into the box before losing his balance. No foul from Yuri. Athletic were looking for a fourth consecutive win in La Liga. But they never found what probably would have been a vital second goal. Canales drove his first effort wide of the mark. Sevilla then withdrew Peque and Carmona. There was a debut for Jose Mateo Mejia. And it was also Pedrosa who came on. And then a major moment in the game. Out of almost nothing, a red card for Athletics goalkeeper Julen Aguirre Zabala. The ball came a long way back to him from his own player. He decided that he wouldn't catch the ball in case it was deemed a back pass. His control let him down. And the 21-year-old Spanish-Colombian debutant, Mateo, was able to force the foul, which saw the red card given. Athletic reduced to 10. They did have one substitution remaining, so Nico made way with Alex Padilla coming on to make his fourth appearance of the season. There was also a late change from Garcia Pimienta, who sent on Jesus Navas with five minutes remaining. 
and the finale of this game was absolutely electrifying. In the 89th minute, there was a free kick from Nemanja Gudeli, tipped over by Padilla. And then it looked as if Luke Bacchio would equalize in the 90th minute. A really good cross from Pedrosa, but Yuri Berchiche made a vital touch which deviated the ball just enough to prevent Luke Bacchio from scoring. It looked like maybe that was the chance and that Athletic would hold on for the win, but there was drama in added time. Ejuke was the spark. His cross forced an own goal by the substitute goalkeeper, Padilla, who was so unlucky. Chedira Ejuke's cross headed by Unai Nunez against the crossbar. It came back against the hand of Athletic's Mexican goalkeeper and this goal was enough to earn Sevilla a point. And there could have been even more drama. Sevilla came forward again Educate once again the spark and he forced the save from Padilla. It finished at San Mamés. Athletic Club 1, Sevilla 1.